You ready? I'm ready. All right. Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson. I've got my knee bar mic here. Um, guys, we're not going to show you any knee bars tonight. Sorry, Mike. But uh, what we are going to show you guys, I got a message from my, my friend in New Jersey, uh, Vladislav Kulikov. Uh, we call him Vlad. Vlad's got a technique that is really unique, in my opinion. That obviously, a lot of times you're going to hear me say it's all been done before. Um, there's only so many ways to move the human body. Most someone, everybody in history, if you count all the grapplers in the history of time and you add up all their techniques that they've done, there's nothing new under the sun is what they say. Now, I don't truly believe that statement, but it's mostly true. So occasionally it is true that sometimes grapplers will come up with new things. Um, for me, I know a lot of shit. I know a lot of technique and I had never actually seen this move. So, but it, it, if you guys see it and you guys go, oh, I know that move or that we learned it over here, then cool, that's great. I'm sure someone out there, I would bet money that somebody else has stumbled on it. I've never seen it on video. So I wanna share with you guys, Vlad Kulikov's technique, his arm bar from the back. Um, so it's very simple. And uh, I'm gonna show you that video right now. Hey guys, uh, I, I would like to share a technique. Uh, I've never seen it done before. You know, like uh, uh, once you understand the principle, like hyperextension, right? The arm does not extend this way. Then you can do all sorts of things. Uh, mostly we get regular arm bar or inverted arm bar, but uh, like today, it was completely by accident. It just like I had an epiphany and I hit this move, right? Uh, and then uh, I rolled again with some other guy and I uh, went for it again to test it out and it worked out. Uh, I'm like so excited. <laughs> I feel like a kid with a new toy. Like I work hard with a new toy. So uh, uh, I took the back mount, and guys, uh, uh, fair enough, disclaimer, my, my finish sucks. Like uh, I don't want to wrench people's faces, but like once I get engaged in a hand fight, man, I, I have difficulties. Unless I quickly, you know, sneak it in. If I'm on the back, start hand fighting, I usually kind of give up the position. So here's the move. Uh, number one, uh, from over under, you collect hand control, not wrist control. Right? But if I get the wrist control, number one, David can uh, use his fingers to strip my grips. And number two, he can simply bust this thing. Yeah, and number two, you can bust out just like that. But if you grab him by the knuckles, and this is something I do like, you know, a bit of, a bit of a, like a wooden tension, I'll, I'll give him a little squeeze. It's impossible to uh, uh, strip his grip, and his fingers are no more uh, of, of use to strip this hand, you know what I'm saying? Right. So normally I go for arm trap, right? I fall on the side, I stop it down, I throw my leg over, I try to throw my leg over above the elbow, because if it's below the elbow, you can control, but it's easier to limp out. If I go above the elbow, it's better. And at this point, I can cross my ankles and shin lock is no longer, if you don't know what shin lock is, you know, if my legs are collected here, as opposed to, yes, he does here. Oh, devastating. But with an arm trap, uh, my, my lock is out of the reach. And then what I did, reach out for the wrist and watch it pull this way. Boom, voila. So uh, that, that rifle shot twice tonight. Uh, give it a try. Uh, again, I'm like super excited. I discovered this one. Yeah, what was the idea of like you accept it and survive, or do you think the world was going back and like recent divide? And this whole movie is about like two baseball players that happily get stuck together. One of them is like, you know, the world goes down. What's up? I'm back. And now we are going to show you guys. I'm going to do my best to try to act it out. So check this out. I've got knee bar mic here. You guys already know what I'm showing you. It's pretty simple to understand. Check it out. You guys are on the back. And when you have the back control, the normal attack is wrist, crawl, 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 and try to get the choke. But as we all know, it's not so easy to choke people sometimes, especially when they have two hands. So when they have two hands, they, they're defending. So I have tons of videos on back control, guys. I like to show all my techniques about finger break. He goes double, double two-handed baseball grip. I go finger break to break that grip, and then I get some control. Now that I've got his wrist, maybe he goes fingers. He goes fingers, I can't choke him. But what can I do? Maybe I can trap this, okay? So I'm gonna force this down. I'm gonna force it down, and then I'm gonna throw my leg over. Once I throw my leg over, I'm gonna cross my feet and take my hand out, okay? Now, once you guys are here, I'm gonna go to the strong side. 
so that this arm is on the upside. If you guys keep your legs tight and you cross and your legs are pulled up high, it's really hard for him to get me in a uh, uh, ankle lock. See that? It's very hard for him because I'm not down here. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I cross down here, he could throw a leg over and then boom, he's gonna break my ankles. So when you guys end up catching this wrist, however you trap it, again, it can be a little cumbersome at times when you're under, like doing this kind of number. Sometimes he hides his arm real good and you're like trying to trap it, but it's really hard to like, I see how I work that heel mm -hmm. in there and then I lock. Now, once I get this, I'm still trying to like fight his hands so I can choke, but he's fighting as best he can. Look at this simple maneuver. I just reach down and I capture the wrist. A lot of times he's not paying attention. He doesn't think that this arm is in danger. Grab the wrist and it's so simple guys. High leverage. I get on that, that wrist, that thumb area and look at that Ten. right there. It's high leverage. Can you, can you flex your bicep be strong? Oh, look at how strong he is. Look at this. Oh, little American. Ten. Ooh, where if I go over here, try to try. Yeah, look at. Yeah, that's that's strong, guys. I've got he's got he's got a really good technique. I think that this is a little bit of a game changer. It can really really add to your skills. Um, I will mention this, guys. If you guys have the over under, and you guys are on weak side, let's say I'm on weak side, I can stomp the hip and then come to this position, and it's a little easier to trap. But once I go to here and I lock. Remember, I'm like way, I'm kind of like a lot over the shoulder right here. I, I want to kind of like, like start to attack. If he slides down, we've got all of these attacks, like over the top of the shoulder. We may go to um, uh, triangles. We may catch arm bars and all that. So when you guys are climbing up over, there's a lot of times where he's actually trying to not allow this. You know, you kind of go up here. Now I can squeeze my legs and then I just reach down. See, again, it's just right there. If, if he's trying to hide, like try to hide from it. Yeah, see, look, I got that. And I can pull that even right here. We got a little Americana. And then, and then you're going to run from that probably by straightening, right? And then now, boom, caught. Mine. Easy, easy submission. So I'm excited. This is my first time trying it, guys. I actually, I didn't realize we were going to play around with that Americana style too. But um, the straight elbow, like this is all like raw, guys. I didn't even, all I did was watch it on the video once. But... Um, it's tough. You're not paying attention. Yeah. You're not worried about it. Yeah. So if you guys normally trap, you might say, oh, when I trap, it's so easy to get the choke once I trap an arm. But, you know, it's right there. It's right there. Why wouldn't you try it and do it? Even if you just want to hit a technique, like it's fun to hit techniques when you're training. So why not just hit a new technique? Here, try it on me. I want to, I want to feel it. I mean, like I'm pretty buff, you know, I got like a lot of strength, so you might not be able to get me. Yeah. I can already tell. <laughs> So I don't know, whatever side you want to go. Like, I'm holding fingers, so it's really hard for him. Boom, he traps. Oh, he's using the handcuffs method. That's my method right there. I'm still blocking the choke. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know it's going to come because I'm worried Sneaky. about my neck. Yeah, you, you don't care. I don't, even, I don't even notice it. Vlad, Vlad is the man. You guys got to check out Vlad. Okay, so I'm here. Ooh, he's going finger break to get the advantage. I don't get those fingers. He trapped my arm. I gotta get out. Ha! You didn't lock, but that's okay. Look, he's got the he's got the foot behind the back right here. This is another way you could probably do it. A lot of times I'll teach this little foot. Yeah, foot, oh, not not so much there. It'll look, it'll scoot out, but you can even climb it all the way up my back. Like 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 it's like a chicken wing with your leg. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, hit that right there. Yeah, even if I lean forward. Go ahead, try to just reach up and hug. Yeah, I'm like, good. I'll try to move. You go. I was almost gonna oh. tap. I know it comes quick. Yeah, it comes quick. All right, one last time. One last time. Go. You gotta test this move out. Sometimes it can be hard to trap. Lock your feet. Can you lock? Yeah. Oh, but you're never gonna get my wrist. Never gonna get my wrist, because I'm paying attention. Just choke, ah, now I'm not worried. Uh huh. Yeah. See the, like, yeah. divide and conquer. I love this game. It's funky. Yeah, so, guys, that straight elbow's killer. Yeah. Um, guys, shout out to uh, Vladislav Kulikov. 
Guys, he's in New Jersey. If you guys are in New Jersey, go check him out at his academy. I believe it's called a uh, Sambo Fusion. It's like he does like a uh, uh, Sambo Jiu Jitsu. I mean, he does everything. He does MMA stuff. He'll do. He'll he'll teach you guys anything. He's a master of the martial arts. He's one of my fam uh, favorite guys to go, go watch because he is so diverse. He's very similar to me in that we we we're diverse martial artists. We we're kind of like we we try to learn from everyone. So um, check him out. He's got a lot of great, great stuff on his channel. Um, he also has, I believe he has an online um, like library. So if you guys wanna like get into that, just look him up. I'll try to pull some links down in the description, description box. And uh, that's it, Vlad's the man. Thank you, Vlad. All right, guys, knee bar mic, I'm we're out. This. I'm gonna do this to Brian Meyer. That's right, yeah. so we're gonna hit it on Brian Meyer. That he's, guy is he's done, his done. elbow, done. Done. All right, guys, take it easy. Teach me grappling. We'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.